this is Simon from BoltonGuitar.co.uk and this is part two of my tutorial on how to play Recuerdos de la Alhambra by Francisco Tariga. Um, now for this tutorial we'll start at bar nine and for this we need to place the first finger bar across the eighth fret. Now that's to give us the bass note of F on the fifth string and also the melody note of C on the first string. We then place the third finger on the fourth string 10th fret C and the little finger on the second string 10th fret A. So for the first two beats we're playing the fifth string, melody note, fourth string, melody note, second string, and the first string again, back to the fourth string. So that is. On the third beat of bar nine, we move the little finger up to the 12th fret second string, place the third finger on the third string at the 12th fret onto G, and we want the first finger on the fourth string 10th fret C. So now we're playing the bass note, the third string, with the melody note on the second string, and then the fourth string bass note, followed by the melody note. So bar nine then is this. So it's up. Play that again. Now into bar ten, all we need to do now is drop the little finger and the third finger down to the tenth fret. So the little finger's on A on the second string and the third finger is on F on the third string. And we then place the first finger on the F um, at the eighth fret um, on the fifth string. And then we place the second finger on the fourth string at the tenth fret. That's given a chord of F major. So now uh, we, for the first two beats we now play Fifth string, fourth string, third string, fourth string, with the melody taken on the second string. On the third beat of bar 10, take that little finger up to the 12th fret and place the second finger on the third string 10th fret. Now for this one, we're playing the open fourth string bass note with the tremolo on the second string we then play the third string bass note and again with the melody on the second string. So bar 10 is play that again. So bar 9 through to the end of bar 10, we have on to bar 11 and we're placing a bar chord at the 9th fret and covering at least four strings. I usually do it over five strings uh, because it makes the next little bit, which is which is a bit of a tricky part. Um, I find it makes it easier. So we've got the bar on, which now gives us the fourth string B and the fifth string E, which the, the thumb will be playing. And we need to get the second finger on the second string 10th fret A. So we, first of all, we're playing the sixth string open with a melody note on the second string we then play in the fourth string and again the melody on the second string now on this uh, first beat uh, the second half of the first beat we do have um, an ornament we're actually uh, going to hammer that little finger down onto the second string 12th fret and then pull it off so 
uh, what happens now is we're actually breaking the tremolo up. So we're playing the first part of the beat as the second part of the beat. We're only actually with the right hand playing two notes. And then we're hammering the finger down. So that's... We then take the second finger off. We play the third string bass note, which is an E. And then the melody note now has changed to the G sharp, which the bar is covering at the ninth fret. Then you play the fourth string, third string, fourth string. Uh, so bar 11 is... I'll play that again. So you're hamming the finger on and then pulling it off. Now, what you do, you actually pull it sideways down onto the fingerboard of the guitar. So that little finger buffets up against that first string, if you can see it. And um, so we have. Keep the bar on, so into bar 12, what we're doing, we're playing the 6th string and the 2nd string again. But this time, we're now adding the 3rd finger onto the 4th string 12th fret D. And then we play the melody note. Then we play the 3rd string. Put that finger back on. Um, so bar 11 and 12 give, give us this. Now, into bar 13, notice that the third finger drops back a fret to the 11th fret 4th string, which gives us a C sharp. We also now need to get the little finger on the 2nd string 11th fret to give us our B flat. And the first finger lands on the 3rd string 9th fret E. So the bass part is now 5th string open, 4th string third string, fourth string, third string, fourth string. And the melody note is taken on um, the, the second string. And then on the third beat, we, we're moving the little finger and placing the second finger on the 10th fret of that second string. We play the third string and then the melody note and then back to the fourth string. So that is now. Into bar 14, notice the second finger now drops down to the eighth fret, sec, um, G, on the second string, and we're placing the third finger on the sixth string, Ninth fret, which gives us C sharp. We need to get the first finger on the fourth string, seventh fret A, and the little finger onto the third string, ninth fret E, which now gives us the bass notes of C sharp, A, E, A, with the melody G on the second string. On the third beat of bar 14, we keep the first finger down on the A, but we now need to stretch the little finger to the 10th fret 2nd string to give us uh, the octave A, and the third finger on the um, third string 10th fret giving us F. So we're now playing the third string, melody note 2nd string, 4th string, melody note 2nd string. So, we now have, uh, for bar 14, then up. Now, bar 14, the, the, the actual fingering of that chord can be somewhat awkward to get your fingers on. So the way you do it is you're actually coming from the previous bar. Mm -hmm. 
notice, drop that second finger down, and then as you're doing that, you place the third finger down onto the sixth string. Don't worry about the A coming up, because we place the finger on after that, so we play, we're playing it um, this way. Finger down. While we're playing that, we then place the little finger on. So that awkward chord shape, you actually finger by playing the notes in the order that they come in the music. So we, uh, we already have the second finger on, which is the guide finger dropping down. We place the third finger onto the C sharp. Then you put the first finger on. Then you put the third finger, uh, the little finger down. So that's. Now that makes that chord fingering a lot easier to play. Um, so play it through from bar nine slowly. So we're starting. Up. Those fingers drop back. Up to the 12th fret with the little finger. Bar across. Get that third finger coming in. The third finger's dropping back, and then we're playing. Notice that second finger's dropping down. Aim. Awkward. So I'll just run through that again. Bar 9, bar 10, bar 11, bar 12, bar 13, bar 14, So that's where I'll leave the uh, left hand and now we'll just go over to the right hand. So bar nine, we're playing the fifth string with the thumb, keeping the melody on that first string, fourth string, second string, back to the fourth string, and then third string, fourth string. So bar nine is Bar 10, dropping down to the chord of F major, so it's the 5th string and 2nd string melody, 4th string, 3rd string, 4th string, the little finger's moving up and we're playing the open 4th string, 3rd string with the thumb. And now bar 11 is where we, we have a little change, um, so in, in order to play this, we're playing first of all the bass note and then the A, but on this second portion of the first beat, we're now actually stopping the, the tremolo slightly. So we're playing the bass note with the thumb, but then we play the A with the third finger, then the middle finger, and then the left hand takes over and does the um, hammer on and pull off ornament. So that is now then third string, fourth string, third string, fourth string. I'll do that again, so it's. Then. Quite awkward that, because you get so used to playing the tremolo that suddenly we have a little hiccup in it where we, we, we're no longer playing with all three fingers. Bar 12, we're keeping the melody going on the 2nd string, and it's 6th string, 4th string, 3rd string, 4th string, 3rd string, 4th string. Uh, 
into bar 13 and we're playing the again the melody is still kept on the second string so it's the fifth string bass note fourth string third string fourth string third string fourth string and we continue that into bar 14 uh, we put the thumbs playing the sixth string fourth string third string fourth string third string fourth string and um, as i said the awkward bar is actually bar 11 where we have the ornament that's that is quite difficult because you've also then got to continue the tremolo on the second beat Um, so that's where I'll leave Requerdos um, on this um, tutorial and we'll continue from bar 15 on part 3. And I hope this helps you to play this piece. Uh, music and tabs are available free from our website www.boltonguitar.co.uk and I hope to see you on the next tutorial. Bye for now.